How you doing, Battle Foam uh, fans and sports fans? And I'm even wearing my sport hat today because we're going to talk sports stuff. So I want to show you guys something really cool. So we're very excited about this bag. Now, you guys know we've been making bags for a very long time, and Battle Foam has been the leader in the industry of bag making and foam making and all that cool stuff. But, man, it really is fun when you get to do a cool project that really caters to a specific, especially very dedicated audience, which is the Blood Bowl community or fantasy football community or really any kind of game that uses kind of like that sports field kind of mentality. Guild Ball is a great example also. There's a, they're a great kind of sporty slash battle game that also works great with this fantasy football bag. But I want to show you guys how it works with the Blood Bowl game. Now, again, as always, this is an official by Games Workshop, and we have no affiliation with them, and none of these videos are approved. So take with a grain of salt that these models that we're using to show, these are our models, and we're doing it to show you guys how easily they fit. But really, any model can work in this bag. This is a very universal bag, even though it says fantasy football bag on it. So first thing I want to point out to it. So the bag, what I like most about it is you got this cool canvas material, which is neat because it gives you kind of a bag of kind of a sporty look to it. If you can imagine like a field, like a football field kind of look. Uh, we like also the very cool canvasy, rugged looking kind of tie straps that this whole thing's put together. So you can use this as a satchel. You can use this as a, uh, obviously a, just a kind of a suitcase carry to it. Now, one thing that you'll notice about this bag is it doesn't have the hard outer shell all the way around. What it has is it has a nice padded shell with an inner core that's hard. What that means is it still protects the actual gear that's inside there, but it just keeps the weight down a little lower. So we wanted, since everybody's going to be carrying their boards around with them, it's going to get a little heavy, a little cumbersome, and we don't want you guys to have to haul a bunch of plastic that's inside the bag and the boards and the minis because that just gets kind of weird. So let's get to it. First thing you're going to notice is you have a nice pocket right up front here that you can put a smart device, you can put your wallet up to your car keys, your phone. In this case, we used our actual, um, your, your stat book more or less. Uh, I threw some dice in here just to show you that there's obviously an easy way to store dice right in the front so you can get to it real nice and quick. That's pretty straightforward, nothing too exciting about that. We look on the sides here, of course we have nice deep pockets. Once again, you can put templates in here. In this case, we just threw a bunch of tokens and cool stuff that we got from Games Workshop for a past event uh, that we held here at our store. And on the other side, we have even more pockets. And these, again, you can just come up with ideas of stuff you can put in these. They're just fun little pockets. It's a nice, easy way to put storage in here. Again, because there are car keys in there if you'd like, or something small. Uh, on the back of it, this is where it starts getting really fun. I'm not going to show you the models yet. We're going to get to that in a second. But what's really neat about the back of this, so I'm going to try to do this without dropping everything out of it. So you've got the zippers that go all the way around. And when you open this, I'm going to try to open this nice and easy. Look at all the cool stuff you can fit inside this bag. So, of course, we got uh, the, the rules for the snowboard. We have a variety of other paperwork that you would bring. A rule book still in the box or packaging because it looks cleaner for the video. Uh, I put our templates over here so you have a nice spot on the side for the templates. And multiple game boards, right? So, as you can see in here, we got the one that comes with the game. And then you have the snow field, which is also really cool. And they fit comfortably in here with plenty of room to breathe. Again, some of the other game boards that are out there for like Guild Ball, they'll fit in here just as easily. But look how cool this portion is right here. So you have your player special play cards that fit easily into these nice little slots here. So you have a really cool place to keep all of your cards. And again, it works for any game because these are normal size card slots. Uh, when we zip this up, we come around to all the magic stuff in the front. So I'm going to do it this way to show you guys how this works. You open this up. Let's open that. Pop open this bad boy. And on top here, you have another protective pouch that you can open up and you can drop extra books in there. You can drop army lists, you can do whatever. Now this foam layout kit comes with four trays. So you're going to have something that's kind of ideal for taller, thinner models. Humans are going to be great as they release elves and similar armies. Those will be also very good. You have, I'm going to start putting these down here so they all fall. You have a plug foam tray. And obviously plug foam is great because as they release special characters, as Forge World does more stuff, you're going to have a place to put them. Uh, and then we have this larger tray, which is great for orcs. So this is really good for models sized like orcs. So Nurgle probably will get an army that's going to have some big guys in it. Um, that's great for Oryx style models, nice and roomy, and you also see a special character down at the bottom that was recently released that also fits nice and easy. Now lastly, 
You have this bit of a smaller tray. This is great for Skaven, for dwarves, or similar type of minis. So these four trays, they're all different in their own way, but also give you a lot of options with what you have. Now what's neat about this, see how you have two compartments here, so you guys can see that, you have two compartments. This actually comes out, so what you can do is pop that out, and then you can put a normal battle foam size train here. So if you don't want to separate your teams, or you want to do a custom kit, you can do a custom foam loadout in here, and you can actually put individual big battle foam trays that you may already have. So you can drop those in and use it for other miniature storage, or maybe you're playing Star Wars, or maybe you're playing something else. You drop those all inside and they're ready to go. So the bag's really, really easy to use, to work with, has a ton of storage. The price on it's awesome. Go to our website today, grab this bad boy up. It's ideal for you guys that play these skirmish games that are sports bound, that have this type of gear. This will be perfect for you. So check it out on our website, battlefilm.com.